Vaccines are very important to society in order to prevent diseases that can lead to death. One example of a vaccine-preventable disease is the Haemophilus influenza type B. Across the globe, there are children unnecessarily being infected by Haemophilus influenza type B, also known as HIV. Prior to the vaccine, one in every 200 children under the age of 5 were infected, two-thirds of the infected falling younger than 18 months old. With vaccine rates decreasing, our beautiful babies will experience these rates again. The vaccine is 95% effective in providing protection and it needs to be used. This bacterial agent accounts for 95% of the diseases caused by Haemophilus influenza. The infection caused by HIV can lead to death or permanent damage to the body's nervous system. The symptoms experienced from HIV infection can be rather uncomfortable. The symptom apparent to the naked eye is the swelling that occurs. This swelling can also occur within the body around the heart. In addition to the heart, the infection can affect the nervous system, bones and joints, as well as the lungs. With these serious symptoms in mind, antibiotics can only do so much to help the infected. This is a very serious illness in children and protecting them from infection is the safest method. The infection arises through transmission from person to person. The close interactions of children and adults aids the bacterium in infecting children. From daycare and school to simply being home with your family, children are susceptible to hit. The only way we can protect children is through vaccination. HIV cannot be recognized by the immune systems of children under the age of two. This leaves them susceptible to multiple cases if they do survive from the first infection. The current vaccine introduces the bacterium in a context that these children can amount long-term protection against. The vaccine contains completely dead bacteria that is safe. HIV infection is nothing anyone would want to have their children experience. Through vaccination, preventing HIV has the potential to decrease childhood death by 4%. The United Nations have a goal to decrease childhood death by two-thirds by 2015. They are supported by the World Health Organization and United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund on this goal. You can help reach this goal by playing your part in protecting your child from HIV by vaccinating.